I did a little bit of rearranging on the wiring. Um, I added this box, so I got all the wires coming up from my lights and everything going into this box. Then I just have one wire coming out going to the battery. So now everything's powered up on the inside and out. And I actually wired that switch on the inside. So when we flip it, it's gonna kill power to all the control panels on the inside and out, um, just so we're not using power at night. And I also wired up this pump. Um, turns on and off. I gotta get the water hooked up so we can test that out. But we're gonna actually go over here and put up our two outside lights real quick and then maybe start working on our door. Alright, the door is complete. Uh, we put this little rain trim guard around here. Um, we got butyl tape all the way around. I actually put two layers um, stacked, not stacked on top of each other, but one here and one here just to make sure. This trim piece was pretty big, so I figured I'd put two on there. Opens nice. Uh, this stuff here, this vinyl, that was a pain to get in there. I mean, it probably took me 45 minutes to get the piece in here because of the corners. But um, you just kind of work it in there real slow, work your way around, and it, it'll go in eventually, but it's kind of a pain. Um, then these are outside lights. Turn those on. Uh, one of those. There's our outside lights. Um, they're 6,000K. Six I wish I did 4,000, but um, I guess if we want to change the mode eventually, we, we can. Just a little uh, more blue than I originally wanted. But yeah. We're gonna uh, move on to the next project. So the back door is completely on, opens up and closes nice. Uh, I got everything kind of put back together so you can see kind of a overview of what everything looks like so far. Um, I got everything to hook the sink up, it's in there, it's not mounted down yet. Here's what I got. It's just a three inch plumber's test plug. This, oh, that one doesn't quite fit in there. May have to do a little adjustment to this one. We're gonna make it fit in there. It just might need a little adjustment. So after some work on the grinding wheel that's uh, looks rough on the inside once you uh push it in like that 
tighten this up that's not coming out so that's a good tight seal so when we're driving down the road no water or anything gets in there so this is kind of going to be the setup the diesel heater will be in the front and then I have it wired to a plug here so the thermostat is oh you can see in there right there so I can control it from inside and then the heat is going to go through here and that's what those little um, flanges were for then it's going to come up here and get piped into the camper uh, the reason I put it higher because uh, the floor is actually about there and then by the time you get um, a mattress in there and some blankets you don't want to have you know this covered by blankets or anything so it is higher um, obviously I'm not gonna be driving like this this will come off and come off down there and put our plugs in till we get to our campsite and that'll get hose clamped down there that'll stay that'll get hose clamped there and down there and then we'll be all set for heat inside the camper.